Hey YouTube, uh, this is video 5 for the Illusion of Gaia walkthrough. I uh, thought this was a good place to start this one. It's, go it's going right into the first boss fight of the game, which is insanely hard if you're new to this type of game. Like, I think when I was a kid, it made me put the game down for a year. And I was just, I love the game so much, I think I came back and went through it all. But I remember I was stuck with Will. I learned you had to go back and get free Dan. Well, unless you're just trying to show off, but I couldn't do it back then with Will. Alright, so you gotta knock his hands out first, and then his eyes will open up while dodging all this stuff, but it's really that, that one right there. That's the one that always gets me. Just like that, just smacking me. Look at it, just chasing me down. All right, safe spot right here. Just watch for the fireball coming down from the top. Alright, there you go. Demon, devil boss, general from hell. He's dead. Not the best clear, but there we go. <clears throat> After the demon disappears, Will returns to his original shape. As always. This next part's pretty cool just for the wicked long jump. <laughs> this is the ink and gold ship. What? I feel like someone's there. Let's have a look, Will. Uh, I have no memory of red jewels in this place, so I gotta check around. Look, look, the king has returned. And he's much shorter. I'm the king. It's the king, you're safe. Thoughts. King, you're safe. Now we can set sail. It's only been a thousand years. It's a happy occasion. We have waited for you for such a long time. The queen is in her stateroom. Please show her that you're okay. I got a queen. Not retarded, just checking barrels. <laughs> oh, King, looking around the ship. But I expect you're tired. Look around and rest in this bed. Oh, I will rest. Through the darkness, a bright light is visible in front of the cave. As the ship set sail, that light represented the freedom we had just won. The 
queen is still wearing the ring she got from the king. That's right. It's the ring he gave her when they were separated by the invaders. Since then, she has thought of nothing but him. Good. You have returned safely. As you were told, until now I've been guarding the mystic statue of the wind. That's the statue you were awarded by the spirits. It's in the jewel box in the storehouse below. Look for yourself. Will do, baby. Why must we flee? It is our home. Why must I jump off this bed? The mystic statue is in this box. Preparations are made are being made to set sail. Well, are you going to the crow's nest? You can watch the ship set sail. It's a mystic statue, our first one. As a kid, man, I love jumping off this thing. I think I climbed up it like 20 times. So easily amused as children, aren't we? Oh, short king, look there. The ship is coming out of the cave. That jokes. I, I love this part of the game. I don't know why. It's just so relaxing. After living in darkness for so long, the brightness is like a new beginning. How can invaders come to destroy a world as beautiful as this, right? All right, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh. One more time, for old time's sake. Ooh, I could never do this in real life. Oh. Alright, that was tiring. I am sorry that it's so shabby, but please try to get some rest. I am shabby. I fell into a deep sleep and was pulled inside a dream. Mother, look in the sky, the comet is so beautiful. After years and years, the comet approaches Earth, then recedes. Some say it's an unlucky star, some say it's a lucky star. Will, what do you think? Let's just be positive. All right, then hope that happiness doesn't slip away. Will, I am always watching over you. That's sad right there. Will, Will, wake up. Yeah, my friends. You're back so late, the Elder must have read your fortune. He said that you are floating alone on the sea. I was so surprised. 
You were acting strange, so we followed you. Then we reached a strange town. Wait, don't call it strange. I was born there. It's invisible. I'd call that pretty strange. Will, you can't go on a journey without telling us. Since we're friends, we have to share good times and bad. Right? Man. See why I like Lance? The queen's mummy sleeps silently. There's a gold ring on her long, slender, bony finger. That ring must be one of the artifacts put on the ship. This is the most valuable of all the artifacts. Many people have lost their lives trying to get rich by finding this ring. I want the ring. It's so pretty. I really must have it. Have you no shame? You could be cursed. What? Maybe it belongs to Riverson. Alright, I'll let y'all in on something little info. I think that's a translation thing when they brought it over. For some reason, they didn't want it called the Leviathan, but it's actually supposed to be the Leviathan, which is like Cthulhu or something with Atlantis. So interesting that they changed it, right? In this part of the ocean, there are fish that are as dangerous as well. Sharks! What? Alright, let's go check this out. <clears throat> Are you okay? Yeah, Lance. Wow! That's Seth. It's coming from the deck. What happened to Seth? Something happened. It's Seth. A huge, enormous, giant fish ran into the ship. Seth fell into the water. He was swallowed. Gulp. What was that? Ah, it's the fish again. We'll all be dessert. Stop crying and grab this, or you'll fall overboard. Oof, sent flying. I think Illusion of Gaia's or Illusion of Time's favorite uh, thing to do is make you wait, so we're playing the waiting game again. You've just come too? I've lost everyone. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. You recover quickly, like a lizard's tail. I've read about being adrift, but I never thought it would happen to me. Disasters sometimes happen suddenly. Well, that's ominous, isn't it? Don't be upset. Don't think about the future. Let's just enjoy drifting. I'm starved. I'll have the meat I brought from the castle. Haha, <laughs> we didn't use it. Alright, so you over here. Equip that. We bit off some of the meat. It was better than any food we'd ever had. Alright. Drifting day two. Beautiful. Even after seeing it all day, I still never get tired of it. Alright, I could be wrong, but I think you have to hit the fish. What are you doing? The poor fish! Hopefully once enough. Talk to her again. Beautiful. No, she already said that. Alright. We'll just wait. Maybe I'll whack another fish. Sorry.
Time passed slowly, with nothing to break the monotony. Kara just stared at the fish all day. Will couldn't stand it. He walked around on the raft and talked to Kara many times. A minute seemed like forever, but he could hear the march of time. Day 4 I have a premonition. Help is coming. What? Something is drifting here. Oh. There was a letter in the jar. The contents read, We are on a ship on our way to be sold as forced labor in an unknown land. If anyone reads this, please save us, Sam. Wow. My premonition. You said you wanted to be saved, but it's me who needs to be saved. Oh, I'm so starved. Yeah. You should have caught that fish if you had. I can't hurt such a pretty fish. Are you saying it's better to starve? Raw fish gives me the creeps. I can't eat it. Besides, the fish is fighting to stay alive. The fish feel pain. Have you ever thought of how the fish feels? If you want to eat it, go ahead. I'm not going to eat it. Ooh, she mad. Kara didn't say anything all day. A typical princess. She's such a bother. Drifting day seven. Drift, drifting first week, a school of fish. He reached the end of his hope. Rope. Uh -oh. If he didn't eat more, he thought he would starve. Still not talking. Okay, I'm gonna. I have to eat, or I'm gonna die. Mm. Oh, so tasty. Sorry, fish. Is it you or me? Honestly, as a child, I learned a really good lesson from this game. It'll be coming up soon. That's probably why it's my favorite. RPG of all time. Alright, now I'm just being greedy. Will. Sorry I talked to you that way yesterday. I'll try to eat the fish. I can't do anything if I starve. Only in peacetime can you refuse food you don't like. Let's catch a fish. A good one. Oh, we're gonna look for that double. There we go. Yeah! There we go. Happily, Kara ate some fish. Will found that he was starting to develop feelings for Kara. There we go. Day 12. The stars are beautiful. If I were taller, I could reach them. Surely, Lily and Lance are looking at the same star-studded sky. If I could talk to the stars, I could find out where everyone is. There seems to be one extra star near the constellation of Cygnus. Yes, that red star. Shall we make a wish upon that star? I have a feeling it'll come true. Will, you close your eyes too. I hope for everyone's safety and for my father. Drifting Day 18 We've been adrift for almost three weeks now. Hasn't your hair gotten a little long? Just a little? Kara doesn't act like a spoiled princess now. If you told someone she was one of the island girls, no one would doubt it. 
That's terrible. What is that? They're in the water. Is that life lesson? Maybe a shark? We could be eaten. What should we do? They're circling our raft, but they're not attacking. Let's think about this. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you can swing at them. You can't do anything. Just a waiting game. <clears throat> Drop the knowledge bomb. I've got it. They're not hungry. My grandpa told me that only humans attack living things when they're not hungry. Then what we're doing is not usual human behavior. We didn't eat fish until we were starving. That's right. They're going. Goodbye, sharks. Eh, eh. Only humans attack things when they're not hungry. Wow. Day 21. Been out there three weeks. When I was in the castle, I loved watching the sunset. The sunset was so beautiful from the corridor of the castle. But now I've come to hate it. After the sun has set, the darkness comes. I thought I'd never see the sunrise again, but since you're with me, I see a beautiful sunrise every morning. With you by my side, I can even enjoy times like these. I've wanted to say the same things to you, but somehow the words just wouldn't come out. I just nodded, saying nothing. And I've passed out. Suddenly, Will fell over unconscious. Will! Will! What's wrong? <laughs> Wake up. Don't leave me here alone. Yeah, I'd probably scare the crap out of a girl. You can wake him up now. He'll be fine if he takes vitamin C. It's scurvy, a disease caused by a long-term lack of vitamin C. It's also where I learned that. Hmm. Columbus's crew contracted at once, nothing to worry about. When it gets worse, the blood gets bad and the skin turns black. The gums bleed and the body starts to cave. Stop. I don't want to listen to such talk. <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. But you know best. Thank you. You should thank the dog outside. He found your raft and came to get me. Will. Will. Wake up. We've reached land. We're saved. Uh. Kara, where am I? We're at the home of the kind man who saved us. You've been tossing in your sleep. I kept putting the blankets on you, but you threw them off. This is the south outskirts of Oakton. The city of Frisia is half a day to the north. If you're looking for your friend, you should look in a big town. You should thank the dog outside. He found your raft and came to get me. At any rate, let's go to Frisia. I'm going to thank the dog. Come back when you're ready. Alright. I think the most important red jewel is here. Because you never need to come back here. There it is. This is just, this is it. You should be here once. So do not miss that one. Uh, there's a clue to what's going on in the game right here with this dog's name. Woof woof. <laughs> that tail wag. This dog's name is Turbo. Isn't he cute? Well, let's go. Maybe we'll see Lily, Lance, and Eric. So they went to Frisia. See how easy you could miss that red jewel? That was sneaky. Um, 
I guess I'll stop this video since I had the boss fight and the whole drifting scene. Um, start number six at Frisia. Uh, it's it's a pretty big town, so it'll be just be best to do it there. All right, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Hope it helped.